Oh shit! Yeah! Whoa! Did that be a little bit better than Crambones? Whoa! Did that be a little bit? What that be a little bit? Crambones? Oh! It's a truth, Titan! Hello, Nemesis. How are you? <laughs> no one cares. I want to come and represent the Bud fan today. Hello, people in the chat. Bueno, hombres, and hombre esa. <laughs> now that I have tracked the Drew Titan down, Titan, I have a few questions, sir. Go ahead, Mr. Mauricio. Oh, now you want to discriminate against the Mauricio asking the question. What no. races you are? Ah, anyways, let us proceed. How come you talk about the hamburger meat arm on the Black Queen? It's a discrimination. Answer, please. <laughs> well, um, I don't think uh, Black people should eat medium rare anything. It's not a part of our diet. But I do have a question for Whoa. you. Um, oh, no, 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 no. I ask it the question. One more, sir. Okay. One I'm more. sorry. I'm sorry, good sir. I apologize. One more. I not hold you long. No, 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 no. You not like to be held by anyone. You are an angry bueno. No bueno. Oh. Oh. Anyways, let us get to the second question. How okay. come, sir? When I was on the shop with the barber. Yes, remember when I was on the shop with the barber? Oh, yes, sir. right? Yes. And yes. he said to the sugar on the hill, you say to the sugar on the hill, I'm going to throw the sugar into the dumpster and light it on fire. Why, sir? That is murder. I was speaking out of anger, sir. Anger. I have said for weeks in the chat on the fucking Friday, this is an angry, angry hombre. Do not take part in anger. It will snare your soul, chat. Snare your soul. Ah, by the way, Mr. Titan, we have finished the Bruce Titan Anti-Racism WBC Championship. That will be 25K on the deposit. You can Holy. send money orders payable to me. <laughs> Um, who will be fighting for that title? May I ask? Oh, you would like to know? Yes. Well, we have we have possible Charlo. You know they like to fight for the different kind of belts with the chains, and the black power fist. So you know, and we have and we have possible K trade fight because we would like to put the Lomachenko back into the spotlight. So I think ah! we have the Charo versus the Lomachenko at about uh, 142.7 pounds. <laughs> so wait a minute. The franchise status. Yes, sir. Doesn't it, doesn't it mean you can go to any weight division once you have that status? Ah, this is a very, very good question. And uh, initially, we said, hmm, franchise belt. Well, you be franchise player. You fight who you want, okay? But then Monkey Wrench, whoa, crambones. It threw into a whole program when the toothless, the toothless mouth, <laughs> the toothless mouth, Teofimo Tooth Lopez, the Lomachenko. Oh, mess up all the Monkey Wrench, whoa, crambones. <laughs> so who is the so we had to change the rules sir we had to ch you changed the rules so who is the franchise champion right now hmm let's see ah uh, well the David Haney a bueno hombre you know because he go on the road you know and he fight everybody and he come to mexico and kick everyone in the asa and then he leave with his father who wear the gold chain with the fro and all the things and take our mexican women back to oakland and put them on the strip that is neither here nor there mauricio been watching that is neither here nor there but they are bueno people part of the wbc familia and uh 
let's see. I would say the WBC unofficial franchise champion is um hmm. Gambosas. Ah, I like that. Hey, um, listen. Trill Will, could you do me a favor? I need you to drop this link and send it to Stone Cold for me, please. Trill Will, I need you to send that to Stone Cold Steve Austin for me. Just hit oh, him up. Oh, don't you discriminate against the white people when he come on the stage, Mr. Titan. Mr. Titan, really? don't you discriminate against the white man when he come oh, on let, the stage. Let me, let, me, let me ask you a question, uh, Mr. Suleiman. Who do Please you continue. have winning? <laughs> Who do we have winning between Errol Spence and Bud Crawford? This is a setup question. This is a setup question. You trying this to put me question. out there? Well, you know who our champion is. We are proud of our champion, the Errol of the Spence Jr., or as we say, Junior. So we are very proud of him. He's a good representative of the WBC. I like, um, let's see, hmm. if I had to put money on it, allegedly, if I had to put money on it, I would put it on the house. Never bet against the house. I have a the Errol Spence in the controversial decision, which will make a the setup for part two. Ah, and yes, we have another belt. We have another belt to present at this very, <laughs> very, very special show. Yes, we do. What would you call that belt for the winner of Bud versus Ever? What would you call it? Oh, I would call it King of the Black People Belt. Yes. <laughs> and whoever win it shall be King of the Black People. King of the Black People Belt will be presented in the ring that night. Yes. Mauricio Deposit even give a discount on the belt, 15K on the deposit to the winner. <laughs> Whoever wears the belt say, I am king of all blacks, and it will be accepted. Oh, pumpy oh. lily lily, crambones. <laughs> crambones. Oh my God. Uh, all right, Mr. Sulima. Um, I appreciate you. <laughs> I appreciate uh, your insight. Yes, it is insightful. Unlike your racism, which is racist. Let us pray for Drew Twighton really quickly. Adio mio, please help this man so that he loses yeah. every racist bone in his body, yeah. which is a lot of bone. Oh, wait. Whoa, Bro, I'm live right now. Bro. Really really Ladies and gentlemen, Stone Cold Steve Austin in the building. It's, it's a cold. great day for me to win. Stone Cold. Stone Cold Steve Austin. What? I heard oh. Mealy Mouth son of a bitch was looking for me, and I came out here to tell you, Mealy Mouth sons of bitches, that you're a lonely piece of trash. And that's the bottom line, because Stone Cold said so. What? What? Yeah. For me. What? Hey, look at me when I'm talking to you, Mauricio Sulia man. You Mealy yeah. Mouth son of a bitch. Yeah. Your Weasley eyes, Stone Cold Steve Austin says, I'm gonna whip your monkey ass all over this hat. Cause it's a great what? day for me to whip somebody's eyes. What? Don't get it. Oh. Oh, y'all gotta sing it with me. What? Okay. This is a setup show. This is a setup. I'm oh, sorry, Mr. Mauricio Man. on stage to jump the Mauricio. I come oh. here in peace, and they come to beat me down with the angry white man and the angry black man. I see it. I see it. I have what they call the third eye. Yes, it is a little um jaded at times, but it's still the third eye. I see it. What? Yeah. You just want Stone Cold Steve Austin to come over there and stump a mud hole in your ass and walk and drive. Because I do believe I don't I... like what you're saying to me. What? What? You're a little froggish? What? You feel like what? you want to do something? What? You want to do something to me? 
Look at me when I'm talking what? to you. What? I am looking. What? What? I told you immediately, man. I'm looking. Son, what? That I'm coming oh. for the crown. What? And that's what I'm lying. Because Stone Cold Steve Austin said so. What? Oh, I see. What? I see. You see, you see, I see what is going on up here. More racism. It is a I am white and I say so kind of crowd. Ah, I see. I see. Ah. I see. So, Mr. Stone Cold Steve of the Austin, how are you, sir? I got me two cases of beer and I'm pretty good right now. What? Ah, okay. Will you be coming to the next WBC event, which will be in Nevada of the Las Vegas, sir? I'm coming there to give you three stunners. Uh-uh, two stunners. Uh-uh, four stunners. I don't know. I'll probably give you about 20 stunners. You need about 20 of them, god dang it. 20 stunners. Are the stunner like the empanada or the burrito or the taco? Chris, so please give me the extra sauce and a cerveza, sir. I will take it. See, the Stone Coast Steve Austin don't share his beer with nobody. Not you, no, you a mealy mouth son of a bitch. I don't share my beer with nobody. What? Well, I'm show my well, beer with one person. That's Deontay Wilder. And that's the bottom line, because Stone Coast said so. Well, mealy sir. mouth son of a bitch. Well, sir, I understand that, that you drink uh, the Keystone Light, and we have the Dos Equis. Yes. Upgrade your beer, sir. You drink the water. Me and Drew with Titan me. is about to drink us four or five Steve Weisers, and we're going to come over there and whoop your real weak ass. And that's the bottom line, because Stone Cold said so. What? I shall have the, what? I shall have the Mexican army. I shall have the Mexican army waiting for you at the border, sir. And I will give every last one of those sons of bitches a stunner just for you, and then when I'm get done whipping their ass, I'm coming to whip your ass. And that's the bottom line, cause Stone Cold said so. Well, okay, sir, Mr. you should take the pill of the chill. Take uh, the pill of the chill and go hug something. A tree, a leaf, a flower, something. Hug it, sir. Release the anger. Hanging out with the truth, Titan, is no good for you. M- Mr. No, Austin. Austin. is gonna give you a hug upside your ass. Pause. I say that, Mr. I say Austin. this with the greatest, sir, I say this with the greatest of concern for you. Pause. <laughs> Mr. Austin, who do you have winning? Bud Crawford or Errol Spence? I got Errol Spence walking a mud hole in his ass and walking it dry. Because Bud Crawford is a piece of trash. Because it's a great day. For him to whip somebody's ass. It's a good day for him to whip somebody's ass. Bud's gonna get cold cock. Cold cock? <laughs> I do not understand the language of the angry racist white man. Oh. What is the code of the cocky? Is oh, this like God. something you hold the beer in? Oh God, we don't drink Tecate. Don't bring God into this. Please do not bring God into this, Adio Mio. Please do not bring God into this. You is the blasphemer because you is the racist. And you bring the angry white colonizer onto the state to talk about the assault of the Mauricio. Yes, Sajrut Python, save this show. I am screen recording and reporting you to the policia right after this. Whoa! <laughs> Crambones. Crambones, sir. Checkmate for I the barber Austin to whoop this mealy mouth sons of bitches ass. Give me a hell yeah. Hell yeah! Huh? What is this? Hell yeah? You too? There is no hope no for you. So. You know, if you became Christians and accepted the Jesus of the Christ, your hearts would be the softer. It would be softer. I tell you. But no, you want to be angry racist, hang out with the angry racist, and then when Mauricio is on the shop with the barber, talk about the dumpster fire and the murder. But that's okay, Guru Python. I have everything 
record it now. Oh, yes. Si Mario has all of the information he needs, all of the footage, and I shall be using this when I drop it off at my lawyer later. Later. That's to say later, sir. Oh, from bonus. Check a mate. Check a mate. Bruce title. I have waited and waited and waited. And you too. Cold stone of the Austin, or whatever you call <laughs> your angry colonizer self, of the self colonizers, please take yourself back to Europe where you belong immediately. Europe calls you, sir. You look like you came from the Caucasianists of the mountains, and that is where you belong. Do not come out here with your pink skin telling how everyone is going to hate me, beat me, and stun me, whatever that is. If it is a burrito, I will have one. If it is not a burrito, I will have none. Yes, but take yourself back to that mountainous range. Have a goat or a kid of lamb, hold it, and release the anger. Yes. One day, you both shall overcome. But as for now, checkmate, Truth Python, checkmate. I got to, I waited weeks, six weeks, 20 weeks, and then I tried to subscribe, and the Truth Python put on a 20 year subscription. Fox. A 20 year subscription. <laughs> Fox. 20 years. This is Fox. I screen record it. I take screenshot. I said, look at the discrimination. I people who want to enjoy Boxio, por favor. Crambones. Ah. I waited and I plotted and I finally got you. You talk about my beautiful friend, the lovely Miss Martinez at the WBA, eh? our cousin chapter. And you say, she is a monkey face. What is this? <laughs> you take her, her tweet out of context, sir, and make this whole narrative about the monkey and the wall and the crambones, and I have finally caught you. In your racist ways, I ask you to change. I ask you oh to change God. week after week on the Pokey Friday, and now you bring in your racist yeah, yeah. colonizer friend and the Mario. The Mar Jones, oh no, you Jones, don't man. interrupt the Mario <laughs> while he runs on the races. I have finally <laughs> caught you. Kiki Dilili, Kiki Dilu, Rambones. This is the high school part. Oh, check me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Coco. Coco, you break it up. <laughs> yes, because God brought out his racism. Yes, God could not take his racist rants no more. So he put the unbona on the stone of the code of the Austin, and he wanted him to go back to the mountain range too. So he stopped his plug. He says, "I am the plug." Not you, Stone Cold of the Austin, with your beer and your stunner. If it's a burrito, I will have one. If it is not, I will not. What? And finally, the Mauricio is a vindicated. Yes, a vindicated. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god oh my god we we'll fucking fall on the floor this is ridiculous oh do not fall on the floor and then try to go at the trial oh he's incompetent he cannot sit at the trial oh no don't fall on the floor do not fall on the floor we will not take the incompetence at the trial you will be there sir there is a, a vicious a lawsuit coming a vicious for the assault attempt Oh. And for the racism, I have it all. Oh, uh, oh shit, we lost Mr. Austin. Well, uh, Mr. No, Sweet you did not lose him, sir. No, 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 that was God. He kicked him off the stage. He said, get this racist off the stage. He kicked him off the stage. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. Theo, you are so great. You look down upon the Mauricio and the WBC and the sanctioning fee. Yes, and you kick at the Stone Cold Racist colonizer off the stage. All in the good fucking Friday. Oh. If there is nothing further, Mr. Truth Python, I have some checks to steal and sanctioning fees to rob from people. Any last words, sir, as I leave the stage? Um, thank you, Mr. Suleiman. 
for um, uh, participating, and I appreciate mm-hmm. you. And uh, no car Check fire me. for you. No car fire. No, no dust car fire. fire. No. Oh, okay. Well, you try to butter up the Mauricio as I leave the stage, because you know I have the vicious liars. Yes, they are I don't from want Staten no Island. Yes, they are from Staten Island. I went to New York and got the craziest, most vicious of the Staten Island lawyers. You know they are very good, Mr. Titan. They are very, very, very good. You are, you are the New Yorker, Mr. Titan. Yes, Mauricio's voice tone changed because now it's down to business. You try to butter the Mauricio up as he leaves the stage, but no. The Mauricio <laughs> has checkmated the Groot Tycoon. Buenos and bueno esas in the chat. I love you all. Mi corazón is. And I am a gun. Thank you. Have a good day. Ladies and gentlemen, Mauricio Silly Man and uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin, thank you for coming through this, <laughs> this strong house. <clears throat>